students welcome to the lecture series on agrochemicals and pest control in this episode we'll be studying about applied entomology entomology is the branch of zoology dealing with the scientific study of insect including their taxonomy morphology physiology and ecology applied aspects of entomology such as the harmful and beneficial impact of insects on humans are also studied applied entomology has its aim in the manipulation of insects both harmful and beneficial to man's advantage successful manipulation of any organism depends on adequate biological understanding and this applies as much to insects as it does to cultivated plants or farm animals hence in this episode the following aspects are going to be seen insects the biological success of insects some possible reasons for insect success economic classification of insects and the impact of insects <music> going to the first aspects insect insects belong to that great subdivision of the animal kingdom called arthropods which are characterized by the possession of an external jointed skeleton encasing the body in the virtue suit of armor crayfishes and crabs are familiar larger representatives of this group like many other groups of animals arthropods are segmented creatures that is the body is composed of a number of similar repeating units in insects these body segments are grouped into three more or less distinct regions comprising head thorax and abdomen <laughs> going to the second aspect the biological success of insects if diversity of species habitat number of individuals and persistence in geological time are any measure then insects are undoubtedly one of the success stories of biological evolution large number of species arthropods comprise some 85% of all the living animals and these the vast majority and insects of which there are more than a million different species we do not in fact know exactly how many exist as entomologists have not yet identified all of them of the estimated 1.35 million living species of animals more than 1 million are insects next large number of individuals besides the innumerable different types of insects which exist individual species often occur in vast numbers within a single hectare of grassland for instance there may be several million beetle larvae or grasshoppers while smaller insects such as aphids and springtails occur in even greater numbers insects individually may be quite insignificant but collectively their impact can be catastrophic next is great variety of habitats although particular species of insects may have rather special requirements of food and environmental conditions which limit their distribution they occur in a great variety of habitats and are found almost everywhere that life can exist other than in the sea as they are very temperature dependent they flourish best both numerically and in variety in the tropics and thrive less well in temperate climates next long geological history insects do not preserve well as fossils so that our knowledge of their geological history is sparse but we do know that they have existed on earth for a very long period at least 
from Carboniferous time, some 300 million years ago. During this vast period, many major groups of animals have come and gone from the scene, but the insects have remained and thrived. Indeed, some groups of present-day insects seem to have changed hardly at all their since this early epoch. For example, cockroaches, surely an indication of a very successful design. Some possible reasons for insect success. While no one can be certain why insects have thrived so well, there are a number of factors that may well have contributed. They are power of flight. Besides the insects, only birds and bats among present day animals have succeeded in developing the power of flight. Flight imparts great mobility to an organism and enables it quickly to colonize new sources of food as they become available. Example, annual crops. Conversely, flight felicitates rapid escape from unfavorable conditions. Next factor is adaptability. Insects as a group have adapted to all environments capable of supporting life other than marine and moreover can utilize almost any organic material as food. Next factor, position of an external skeleton. An external skeleton provides a small animal with a valuable protective casing what is perhaps more important than its mechanical strength is the physical property of its outermost layer in providing a very effective barrier against water loss which is a constant problem for any small land animals. Next factor is small size. There are disadvantages in being small, in particular a limited brain size and thus limited capacity for the development of intelligence. Next factor is rapid reproduction. The ability of insects to multiply rapidly due to short life cycles and many offsprings per female is probably a key factor in their success. Food resources can be quickly exploited as they become available and furthermore there is the capacity for rapid evolutionary change as shown dramatically by the development of insecticide resistant strains in many species. Economic classification of insects. Insects are a very important group of animals because of their beneficial and adverse effects on the life of human. They have made a tremendous impact on the environment, on human activities and health. Medical, economic and agricultural entomology are the important branches of science. Insects can be classified as follows based on their economic importance. They are injurious insects and these injurious insects are further classified into pest of cultivated plants or otherwise called crop pest. Each cultivated plant harbors many insect pests which feed on them and reduce the yield of the crop. Field and horticultural crops are attacked by many insect species. For example, cotton ball worm, rice stem borers. Storage pest. Insects feed on stored products and cause economic loss. For example, rice weevil, pulse beetle. Pest attacking cattle and domestic animals. Cattle are affected by pests like horsefly, fleshfly and lice. They suck blood and sometimes eat the flesh. Second type of classification that is beneficial insects. These are further classified into productive insects. Silkworm. The silkworm filament 
secreted from the salivary glands of the larva helps us in producing silk. Honey bee provides us with honey and many other byproducts like bee wax and royal jelly. Lac insects. The secretion from the body of these kale insects is called lac and they are useful in making varnishes and polishes. Insects useful as drugs and food etc. As medicines for example sting of honey bees are the remedy for rheumatism and arthritis. Anthoridin extracted from blister beetle are useful as hair tonic as food for animals and human beings. For animals, the aquatic insects are used as fish food. Grasshoppers, termites and pupa of moths have been used as food by human beings in different parts of the world. Ornaments and entertainers. Artists and designers copy the color of butterflies. Beetles are own as necklace. An insect collection is a hobby. Scientific research. Drosophila and mosquitoes are useful in genetic and toxicological studies respectively. The third type of classification that is helpful insects. They are parasites. These are small insects which feed and live on harmful insects by completing their life cycle in a host and kill the host insect. For example, egg, larval and pupal parasitoids. Next is predators. These are large insects which capture and devour harmful insects. For example, cocky millets, preying martyrids. Next is pollinators. Many cross-pollinated plants depend on insects for pollination and fruit set. For example, Honeybees aid in the pollination of sunflower crop. Weed killers. Insects which feed on weeds and kill them. For example, Parthenium beetle eats on Parthenium and Cochineal insect feeds on Opuntia delinei. Soil builders. Soil insects such as ants, beetles, larvae of cutworms, crickets make tunnels in the soil and facilitate aeration in the soil. They become good manure after the death and enrich that soil. Scavengers, insects which feed on dead and decaying matter are called scavengers. They are important for maintaining hygiene in the surroundings. For example, carrion beetles, raw beetles feed on dead animals and plants. The fourth type of classification that is household and disease carrying insects. Pest which cause damage to belongings of human beings like furniture, wool, paper, example cockroaches, furniture beetle, silverfish etc. Pest which cause painful bite inject venoms for example wasp, bee sting, hairy caterpillar, nettling hairs are poisonous, mosquitoes and bugs bite suck blood from us, disease causing, mosquito causes malaria and dengue fever, housefly causes typhoid, cholera, leprosy and anthrax. The last aspect that is the impact of insect. Because they dominate all terrestrial environments that support human life Insects are usually our most important competitors for food, fiber and other natural resources. They have a direct impact on agricultural food production by chewing the leaves of the crop plants, sucking out plant juices, boring within the roots, stems or leaves and spreading plant pathogens. They feed on natural fibers destroy wooden building materials, ruin stored grain and accelerate the process of decay. They also have a profound impact on the health of the humans and domestic animals 
by causing annoyance inflicting bites and stings and transmitting diseases insects as food insects represent an important food source for a wide variety of other animal species freshwater game fish such as trout bass and bream feed extensively on the aquatic insects like may flies stone flies or hell gram mites artificial flies used by anglers are often made to resemble a fish natural prey many toads frogs turtles snakes and lizard also consume insects as a major part of their diet insectivory is a common among land dwelling birds purple martins flickers whip poor wills and swifts for example survive almost exclusively on insects other birds such as egrets geese plovers and bluebirds have a more varied diet but they still derive a large percentage of their total nutrition from the insects there are even some insectivorous mammals they are shrews moles bats and anteaters for example when other food is sacred even foxes raccoons and bears will turn to insects as a source of their food insects were undoubtedly an important source of nutrition for our early human ancestors even today they are still collected and eaten by people of many cultures in mexico dried grasshoppers are sold in village markets high in protein and low in fat they may be fried or ground into meal and mixed with flour sago grubs the larvae of wood boring beetle are considered a delicacy in papua new guinea the islanders boil the garvey or roast them over an open fire ants bees termites caterpillars water bugs beetle larvae flies crickets and dragon fly nymphs are among a long list of edible insects that provide nutrition for the people of australia africa south america the middle east and the far east ecological impact as consumers scavengers and decomposers insects play a vital role in the biogeochemical cycling of nutrients insects help aerate the soil improve its retention of rainwater and enhance its tilt they turn more soil than earthworms and redistribute the nutrients within the root zone as they burrow and nest in the ground flies and dung beetles prevent the build up of manure from large animals and speed up its decomposition by fungi and bacteria without such scavengers the gradual accumulation of waste products from large herds of cattle and other ungulates would soon render much of the landscape suitable for agricultural purposes faced with just such a situation ranchers in hawaii australia and the southern united states have imported dung beetles from the east africa in an effort to accelerate the decomposition of manure on pasture lands that support large herds of livestock as parasites and predators of other organisms insects are a part of a natural system of checks and balances that strengthens the community stability and prevents explosive population growth from overrunning natural resources so far over 6000 insect species have been tested and released as biological control agents to fight insects and weeds that we regard as pest indeed human disruption of natural ecosystem is a common cause of pest outbreaks 
over half of all the agricultural pests in the United States have been accidentally imported from the abroad. For example, fire ants from South America, Japanese beetles from the Orient and gypsy moths from Europe. Many of these species are not regarded as a serious pest in their homelands because population growth is suppressed by native parasites, predators and their diseases. But above all these, insects play an essential role in pollinators of flowering plants. These plants are dominant producers in many terrestrial ecosystems, but they cannot reproduce without insect intermediaries to carry pollen from flower to flower. It is a close symbiotic relationship that has been shaped and polished by the eons of coevolution. The plants produce a wide array of colors, odors, rewards, and ruses to attract insects. Various flower types and their architecture are adapted for attracting different groups of insects, not only bees and butterflies, but also many species of wasp, moths, beetles and flies. Wild ginger, for example, produces an unobtrusive brown flower that smells like a dead rat. It is pollinated by fungus, gnats, flesh flies and other saprophytic insects. Many of our agricultural crops like almonds, apples, cherries, blueberries, cucumbers, squash melons, etc. would be non-productive without insect pollinators. In the United States, there are more than 2,50,000 commercial and hobby beekeepers who manage over 4 million beehives and provide pollination services to crop on 20 to 25 million hectares of farmland each year. Products of beneficial insects. They are honey and bee wax. Since ancient times, honey bees that is Apis mellifera have been valued for the honey and bee wax they produce. In many cultures, these products as well as the bee themselves are viewed with mystical or religious significance. To ancient Greeks and Romans, honey was the nectar of the gods. Endowed with healing properties and supernatural powers. People of Asia used it as a preservative for fruits and cakes. Egyptians employed it as embalming fluid and doctors in Europe and colonial America applied it as an antiseptic to treat burns and lacerations. In Europe, honey was often mixed with wine or beer and could be fermented to produce a popular alcoholic beverage known as mead. For many thousand of years, honey was the only sweetener most people ever used until the early 1800s. Next is silk. A silkworm is the source of a unique natural fiber used to make silk cloth. This species now exists only in capitative where it is rare to maturity on a diet of mulberry leaves. As each larvae spins its cocoons, it produces a continuous fiber of silk that is about 0.075 mm thick and 900 to 1500 meter in length. This domestic silk is highly valued for its light color and lustrous finish. Silk is also harvested from the cocoons of several other moth species, mostly Anthera species, that live in the forest of India, China and Japan. These wild silks, they are Eri, Muga and Tassar are the most common types, tend to be heavier, darker 
and less highly valued than that of silk. Silk is the strongest of all natural fibers. It is comparable to steel or nylon in tensile strength but considerably more elastic. It can be dyed, spun into thread or yarn and woven into fabrics that are warm in winter, cool in summer, resistant to wrinkling and exceptionally light in weight. Until the discovery of nylon in 1938, silk was the only fiber strong and light enough to be used in the manufacture of parachutes, surgical sutures and women's housery. Shellac Lacifer laca, a tiny scale insect that grows on soapberry and acacia trees in India and Burma is the source of lac. It is a sticky resin that forms the principal ingredient of commercial shellac. Twigs bearing the scale insects are heated to extract and purify the resin. Up to 200 insects are needed for each gram of lac. Shellac made by dissolving the lac in alcohol was widely used as a varnish for floors, furniture, draperies, photographs, playing cards and dried flower arrangements. Alkali emulsions of shellac have been molded into electric insulators, phonograph records and dental plates. It is also used as a stiffening agent in the fabrications of felt hats, leather shoes, sealing waxes and various types of inks, dyes and polishes. Lac is the only commercial resin of animal origin. Tannic acid. Tannic acid is a chemical compound widely used in the leather industry for tanning and dyeing and the manufacture of some inks. Until the mid 1800s, most of the world's supply of tannic acid was obtained from Aleppo Gal, an abnormal plant growth found on oak trees in Asia Minor. The trees produce gall tissue in response to a chemical substance secreted by tiny wasp belonging to the family Cynipidae that infest the trees. The larvae of these gall wasps live and grow inside the galls which unwittingly provide both food and shelter for the insect invaders. Today, there is no commercial market for oak galls because tannic acid can be extracted more economically from the Kubarko tree, South American member of the sumac and poison VV family belonging to Anacardiaceae. We can conclude this episode. Insects as pests present us with a formidable adversary making up for what they lack in intelligence by sheer weight of numbers and biological versatility. They are unlikely to give up easily in the struggle for existence. Thank you.